Resilience is important. Attitude is everything. You can do anything you put your mind to. Life doesn't give you more than you can handle. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> the world has become obsessed with this belief that resilience is the answer to getting what you want in life. If you believe that you can do hard things, did you stand up? Anybody's ever told you that you can do hard things? Okay, cool. Stay standing if you have ever, if you didn't know something and then you, you practiced or you studied and then you could do it. You couldn't do it and then you learned how to do it and then you could do it. Stay standing. Cool. Okay, stay standing if you ever have or you believe that you could do something that most other people can't do. Have you ever, you know, climbed a mountain, started a nonprofit, right? If you think you're like, my friends have never done this, but I think I could do that. Stay standing, okay? Stay standing if you believe that you could be a professional NBA basketball player. Okay, <laughs> that's what I thought. I, so we, we do know this, right? We, we know that we can't do everything and yet we're not talking about it, right? That doesn't look good on your Instagram feed. You're never gonna see some Nike shoe commercial. Just don't. <laughs> You know what? Just, just don't. It's not sexy. With this cultural insistence on grit and positivity, we put all the focus on attitude and very little on achievability. The other risk of toxic positivity, and this one doesn't get talked about very much, uh, but it's a huge risk, especially for organizations. Toxic positivity can distract you. It can leave you wasting time on dead ends. That's a big problem because goal commitment is a finite resource. Research into motivation tells us that we only have so much goal commitment to spend. And if we waste it willy nilly where it's not important or where we're not going to make much headway, then we're not going to have it for the moments that we need it. This is huge. If you're a leader, if you manage anybody, if you're a parent, you don't wanna waste your people's engagement, enthusiasm. Stretch goals? Yes, absolutely. Stretch goals are inherently motivating because when we do achieve that end goal, we feel this renewed sense of, it's called self-efficacy. Right? We feel very good about what we've done. But beyond a stretch goal, an ego goal, right? just to pat ourselves on the back, oh, our competition's doing this, well, that's demotivating. Because if it's not an achievable goal, then we're going to fail. Uh, so many stretch goals that you're stretched too thin, right? it's hard enough to be out here achieving goals with all of the obstacles in our paths, we don't need to add any more problems. 